Number 10, shocking the town. At the beginning of 2022, 26 people were electrocuted when an overhead high voltage cable fell into a drainage ditch. It happened at a market in the Democratic Republic of the Congo's capital, Kinshasa. The cable snapped and the live end of it fell into a ditch that was filled with water after that morning's rain. All 26 of them were killed by the shock. Two more were injured. A local vendor named Charlene Twa said, quote, We were crowded in a church in a square to wait for the rain to end. Suddenly we saw a flame and we shouted, Lord, protect us. When we went outside, all of those who sell along this avenue were lying on the ground, lifeless. End quote. It's not uncommon for power cables to collapse in Kinshasa, a city of more than 13 million people with outdated infrastructure and informal neighborhoods that extend into regions not intended for residential development. Congo's National Association of Architects said in a statement that the accident could have been avoided. It was a tragic consequence due to a lack of respect for city regulations under high voltage electricity lines. Number nine, naked man on the subway. In January, 2021, a subway service was suspended in Manhattan when Police say a naked man attacked two people at a station before suffering from a fatal injury. The man appears to be emotionally disturbed and everyone is obviously wondering why he has no clothes on. Security cameras captured footage of the man approaching a stranger and, unprovoked, began to attack him before shoving him onto the subway tracks. As people waiting for the subway screamed in horror at the situation, a good Samaritan and army vet, 55-year-old Tyler Horro, jumped onto the tracks to assist the man before an oncoming train hit him. He got him out of the way, but then the naked man went after Tyrell. During the brawl, the naked lunatic accidentally grabs the third rail, electrocuting himself. He was killed almost instantly. Number 8. The Hunter and the Bear In 2011, Eduardo Garcia almost lost his life in a freak accident deep in the wilderness of Montana's backcountry. Garcia was bow hunting for elk near Gardner when he noticed a dead bear cub. Curious about what happened, Garcia reached out to touch it with his knife, not knowing that the cub was killed by a buried 2,400-volt power line hidden underneath its carcass. A symphony of sound, light, and energy erupted throughout his body. The powerful shock knocked Garcia to the ground and left him severely burned. In tremendous pain, somehow the hunter forced himself to walk three miles, or just under five kilometers, for help. Although the shock only lasted a split second, the burst of electricity ended up costing Garcia four ribs, his left hand, and large amounts of muscle mass. In a bizarre twist, doctors discovered during his treatment that Garcia also had stage 2 testicular cancer. They managed to treat it before it spread too widely. Garcia now looks at what happened as a blessing in disguise. He may have been hurt, but at least doctors were able to treat his cancer before it spread to the rest of his body. Number 7. Shower Malfunction in December 2016, 26-year-old Rini Cecilia, a popular beauty blogger, was killed while vacationing in Bali when her hotel shower malfunctioned and electrocuted her. She was found collapsed on the bathroom floor naked and unconscious with burn marks on her chest, still clutching the shower hose. The stunning young blogger, who had thousands of followers on Instagram, had traveled from her home in Jakarta, Indonesia, for a luxury holiday on the popular tourist island. Her friends grew concerned when she wasn't answering her phone. Her friend that was with her, 20-year-old Maria Estelle Bambang, was horrified when she went into the room to check on her and saw water spilling out of the bathroom onto the bedroom floor. Police determined the cause of death in the case appeared to be using electric equipment in a high-humidity environment, which was the steamy bathroom itself, which raises the risk level. Grounding wire is a prerequisite because of that, while showering large amounts of water vapor made the jacketing of the water heater electrically charged. The naked metal plumbing and showerhead which Rini directly contacted served as an excellent source for the conduction of electricity. Have you ever been severely shocked by electricity? Tell us about it in the comments below and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Number 6. Wet Paint A 27-year-old man in the Mahoning Township of Pennsylvania died while trying to paint the power line tower. Obviously, putting wet paint on a power line is a recipe for disaster. According to the coroner from Lawrence County, the individual's name has not been revealed for privacy reasons. The incident happened at about 11 o'clock in the morning with the man's daily job being to repaint the tower. He was contracted by Penn Power to revamp the old structure, and everything was going fine until he climbed to the top and accidentally came in contact with live electric wires. To make matters even worse, he didn't just get electrocuted, he also got tangled up in the wires. By the time help arrived, he was hanging unconscious from his harness, tangled up in live electric wires, 75 feet or just shy of 23 meters above the ground. 
It wasn't easy for rescue workers to remove his corpse. It took some time because they had to be extremely careful not to also touch the wires. By the time his body was untangled, he was already dead. A co-worker was there when it happened and claimed sparks were literally flying off his body and it wasn't safe for him to help. Number 5. Careless Airport In July 2019, a man named Lofty Ibrahim Al-Shamak, working at Yemen's Aden International Airport, died a grisly death when he was shocked by an electric fan. Security cameras captured the moment Lofi noticed that the fan was facing the wrong direction for airport guests. He attempted to adjust it, but he was electrocuted when he touched the device. He immediately dropped to the ground and his body started to convulse. Lofty then tries reaching for help towards a nearby colleague to no avail, with his face contorting and darkening in color as he eventually stops moving. The colleague just calmly packs a bag and walks by Lofty in total oblivion, seemingly without care. People in the background don't seem to notice what is happening either. A few seconds after the colleague walks away, a man in a white shirt notices Lofty's unusual behavior and goes to check on him in concern. But when he disconnects man from metal, sparks start leaping from the fan. Aiden International Airport's current air conditioning system is not sophisticated and always breaks down, so fans are used as an alternative. After the video was released, people online criticized how the airport handled the affair and were upset by the cluelessness of the employee who didn't try to rescue the victim. Number 4. Leopard vs. Power Lines In 2017, a leopard was electrocuted in India and discovered hanging from an electric pole in one of the most bizarre cases of electricity gone wrong. The wildcat had somehow managed to climb all the way up to the top of the electric pole and then got tangled up in the lines. People were shocked when they saw the dead body of the cat hanging limp from the wires. The incident happened near the Malaram Forest, a very remote part of the country in which leopards sometimes stray near human residences. But seeing as wild animals don't understand how to navigate things like electric poles, the leopard probably thought the structure was a tree, and when it tried to climb to the top, it was zapped and killed. According to the local wildlife officials who investigated the case, the leopard was probably searching for food. Since these are ambush predators, the leopard was trying to find a high vantage where it could spot incoming prey and then leap. Ultimately, this is what led to the deadly electrocution. Officials had to come down and disconnect the power supply just to remove the carcass. Number 3. Stealing Cables In 2020, in Singapore in 2020, a 27-year-old foreign worker named Murugan Kothalam thought he could get away with stealing electrical cables from his job site at the National Police Service Department. Kothalam was not a trained electrician. He was actually just a driver who knew electricians who worked at the site. He told one of them about his plan and got them to go along with him to cut and remove the cables, which electricians were not authorized to do because the power was still on. The thieving duo planned to split the profits, but they never reached that point because Kothalam was electrocuted. One of the electricians heard a ladder shaking and ran to the room where Kothalam was cutting wires alone and found the man's body completely still with his upper body hanging above the ceiling panel. Resuscitation efforts on Kothalam failed and he died at a local hospital a few hours later. Investigators found that he had touched the non-insulated part of a pair of wire cutters while cutting a live wire. He used his other hand to grab a metal ceiling board frame, forming a closed circuit that delivered the fatal shock. As a result of his decision to violate workplace policy and the law, he left behind a young son who never even got the chance to meet. Number 2. Deadly Laundry it started as a normal afternoon in January 2022 for a mom in Brazil named Tias de Oliveira Rose. She was just doing laundry at home when the 27-year-old was electrocuted and killed by her washing machine. William Bottega, her boyfriend, was horrified when he discovered her lifeless body on the floor and immediately called 911. But sadly, it was too late for the paramedics to save her. Brazil's civil police are investigating the incident, and preliminary information seems to confirm that electric shock may have come from an exposed wire. Tyus had no known pre-existing health conditions that may have played a part in her death. She was a healthy young mom. Imagine switching loads of laundry and powerful volts of electricity suddenly raging through your body. Bottega took to social media to express his profound grief over losing Tyus, who left behind a four-year-old daughter and was due to start a new job the very next day. He wrote in a post that it didn't seem real and concluded his thoughts with the statement, until we meet again. Number 1. iPhone and Bathtub We all know water and electricity don't mix. Ever. 24-year-old Olesia Semenova learned this the hard way in Arkhangelsk, Russia in December 2020. She was found lifeless in her bathtub by her roommate. 
She received a deadly electric shock when she accidentally dropped her iPhone 8 in the water while it was still plugged into the wall. According to what her roomie told the emergency operator when she called the police, Alessia was pale, she wasn't breathing, and she had no pulse. When she reached out to touch her friend, she too received an electric shock. Paramedics later confirmed what the friend had assumed. Even though a cell phone might not seem that deadly, it's still hooked to electricity when it's charging. It's the same as tossing a toaster into the bath, which, by the way, you don't do. After the devastating incident, the Russian Emergency Ministry issued a public warning to all citizens to keep electrical appliances away from water. Thanks for watching. Would you rather get electrocuted and not be able to talk ever again, or get electrocuted and never be able to walk again? Tell us what would be worse in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time on The Bad Badger.